Hey guys, what's up? It's Rock again. I'm going to do a quick gear review on the Z-Pax Challenger rain jacket. It came in last week. Um, lately, weather here has been pretty rainy, so I've finally gotten to use it. Um, I'll go over the different designs and I'll kind of tell you what my first like initial thoughts are on the product. Um, first thing you notice, or I noticed when I got it, is like crazy light. So it's six ounces the way that I got it. I did leave off the front um like the breast uh pouch you know it's got a zipper pocket i left that off um that's one thing i love about z-packs they'll do pretty much anything you ask i did add the pit zips so they open up a good bit i mean it's not like a little open it's like from i'd say from here all the way down uh midway through your ribs so they added a little bit so i'm not sure what the claim weight is but this jacket weighs six ounces even as it as it stands um like i ordered it it does have elastic band uh to pull around your wrist tighter which i like about that i had the helium too and i like the helium too but it was um it weighed 6.4 ounces which you think 0.4 ounces isn't that big of a difference but the design of this is 10 times better than the Helium 2, uh, in my opinion. So you have a bill just like the Helium 2. So if you're wearing a hat, whatever, it's not a rigid bill. It's like, like the fabric's been doubled over or something, not kind of crazy. It's not like a cardboard bill, bill or anything like that. You can adjust it with these uh, tensioners right here to uh, pull it down closer to you. You also have the ability to tighten up the back back here so you can tighten it to pull the bill uh, back off your or your eyes or drop it down a little bit lower it has no pockets I'm, I'm sure they'd probably add one if you if you wanted pockets but um, it's completely waterproof 100 percent waterproof oh yeah there's a another if you want to roll the hood up you have to roll it this way so you roll it inward and then this clips if I can do it, it clips right on the inside to keep it up out of the way if you don't want your hood, I guess, dangling down. So it would be something like that. However, uh, you'd want to wear it. Today I took it out and it was pouring down raining and I was doing my morning run. And I didn't get, I guess I, I got warm, but it wasn't like a rain jacket, like a traditional rain jacket where you feel like you're like running in a garbage bag. It breathed um crazy good and you can even feel the wind uh coming through there i did uh have to unzip the pits so i unzipped both pits and i did by the time i got finished with my run um unzip the front pretty good it was only three mile run so it wasn't anything crazy but it was pouring down raining the whole time of course my shoes and my uh, legs got soaking wet but everything stayed completely dry but the uh, thing I liked about this, it was so light and so breathable that it wasn't like a miserable, miserable experience running in this jacket. So overall, my first initial impressions are it's an amazing jacket. Um, we're going to the AT and like, I think we have like an 85 mile trip, something like that. Um, and I'll be doing a, some more news on that. But, but I'm going to take this jacket. I'm sure it's going to rain on us, so I'll have like another follow-up. But this is, would be my initial uh, review of the uh, Z-Pax Challenger rain jacket. I will have a follow-up review and let you know if it got thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm sure it would probably get thumbs up being Z-Pax and um, they're top-notch on all their stuff. I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for joining in. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you for everybody that's subscribed so far. And I'll be doing more gear reviews as the days go on. Have a good day.